Hi, uh, my name's Chris, uh, Chris Lines. Welcome to my studio. I wanted to start this uh, um, vlog as uh, just a way of getting my thoughts and my music out to people, see what people thought, see if uh, people liked what I was doing, if anything I had to say on music production was interesting at all. Uh, I've taken a lot of inspiration from Daniel James's videos, if anyone's watching his stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm not naturally at home in front of the camera, so uh, apologies if I feel extremely, uh, if I come across <laughs> extremely awkwardly. Uh, I'm hoping things will improve as I get used to it. And uh, uh, We'll see. We'll see what happens. So this is just a short intro, and then I'm going to switch over to the uh, camera of the actual cast of the of my screen, and uh, I may switch back to uh, this uh, angle as well, depending on how things go. So uh, here we go. Right. So I may do these uh, <coughs> little videos in a couple of different sections just to make sure my screen recording is uh, going on okay uh right so this is hopefully you can all see my screen um so i wanted to just kind of uh show you about this is a track i was working on i was actually going to do another show you another track which i worked on last week but i started working on this one a couple of days ago so this is kind of what i'm into at the moment this track so I'll show you this one. And also there's a couple of things I'm, which are sort of, I'm trying new sort of techniques and stuff, which uh, is uh, pretty good. Uh, I'll just give you a burst of the track first of all. Oh, hang on, that's no good. So you can get a feel for that. It's kind of reminds me a bit of something like 300, the film, which is no bad thing. So it's kind of obviously quite epic, kind of a lot of energy and uh, excitement, some kind of battle scene or action scene or something. Uh, so it's got quite a lot of stuff going on, but actually not that much compared to how big it sounds part of the reason it's got that sound is because i actually dug out this old uh beast from many years ago which is probably the worst guitar anyone has ever played it cost about 50 pounds when i was about 50 well that and an amp about this about this big cost about 50 pounds uh for uh, a Christmas when I was about 15 so quite a while ago and it's been in my uh, parents loft and I dug it out not specifically for this track but uh, it's been used on this track so I just wanted to show you some of the guitar parts that are going on here the first one is this bit here it's just doing this And this is partly inspired by Danny Cox's um, Audio Imperia uh, motor guitar sound library. I wanted to have a go at doing some sounds like that myself. It's just a simple note put through guitar rig. That's it on its own. That's good. That's through guitar rig. Uh, granular sparkle that's called makes it sound quite big it's nothing clever and then I'll just put a little delay on the end of that 
and the next one's a sort of a lead melodic bit gives it a bit of emotion a bit of uh, tension next one is this which is a rockier sound but similar to the first line I guess that's, that's the first one and the last one's a lot rockier that's the last one a lot buzzier and a lot rockier sound in guitar rig that time that one's a thrashy, thrash sound. So all the guitars together, you've got a bit of sort of rock sound in there, but also a bit of melody, a bit of tension. So that's going underneath the whole bed. So then if you put the rest of the track in as well. Guitars aren't that in, they aren't in your face at all, they're just there. The main instrument you can probably hear is the brass here. And I'm quite pleased with the way the brass comes out. What this is, is just two lines really. It's contact brass sustain and an Albion brass sustain ensemble. But what I've done is, rather than uh, rather than just getting them to come out the master here, and then just adding some. Th this is the reverb I've used here, the Valhalla Room reverb, Royal Up Opera House. Rather than just adding the sustaining like that, I've actually sent it so it you can't hear it out through the master. It, it, it's this little sex, uh, feature here in Appleton called Sends Only. So you're not hearing it out the master bus, it's only going through this reverb. So all you're hearing is the... All you're hearing is the reverb... Uh, is the brass after it's gone through that reverb. So that's why it sounds so big. Which is a nice little thing got some strings in as well just some quite soft pads going on there some high ostinati I think it's got some low going on as well yeah so you've got some low and high going on there and some pads I mean, as you can hear, a lot of that's not in time yet. I've just, I've just recorded it in. But because the track's quite loose and organic, and you want it to have some feeling, I'm not too worried about that at this stage, anyway. So that's the strings. Okay, so after the strings and the brass. Uh, the only I could do the drums here actually. Uh, oh, the bass. Oh, the bass is nothing special. That's just in uh, reactor in Monarch. It's not doing anything special. Just adding a little pulse. Uh, oh, the, now the drums. Well, there's, there's two sort of drums going on. There's these are more like the traditional kind of tacos and uh, war type drums going on. Uh, hang on. 
low drums. So there's two types of tacos going on there. Tacos. That's a sort of a high one. That's a sort of a low one. So the two together give quite a good sound. Um, there's some war drums here. They're actually off Forest Kingdom by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, Forest Kingdom, that's all. Um, so there's that going on here. You've got these drums. But then on top of that, I've put in a sort of a live kit to give it a slightly um, up-to-date sound. And that comes from Contact, uh, Modern Drummer, Abbey Road Modern Drummer. And it's nothing that clever. But I've just stuck a lot of reverb on. Again, I've got big hall here. I turned the snare down a bit as well because that was a bit too big in the face. So again, it gives us sort of a rocky. The other thing that's going on really is just a couple of other bits and pieces I've recorded. There's a little effect I put in here. I called it Twiglets. Uh, that's literally a Twiglets pox. Yeah, uh, you can actually get some good percussive sounds just from anything that's lying around. So. It's actually got quite a nice tone that I'll probably keep that hanging out. And the other thing was a toy which I sort of opened the lid on, which is this thing here. That sounds really good. Uh, and, I, and I pitched it down. So it was originally that. Uh, and I'll put a load of echo on it. Again, Valhalla Room, I just put that on there. So here's it dry. The sort of thing you could imagine quite easily on lots of little things opening the lid. Stuck that through reverb. And then pitched it down. It's actually in tune with the track naturally, which is kind of weird. So took it down, pitched it down an octave. Sounds a lot more impactful, and also it's in tune, which is kind of good. So that's it, really. Uh, I don't know quite what yet is going to happen with the track. That's kind of a full section that's going on at the moment. Uh, I'll hopefully work on it a bit more and post up here um, what I've done. So if you've got any questions about this, anything I've done or anything you've seen that you liked or whatever, just leave, uh, leave your questions in the comments and I'll uh, try and get around to them. Thanks for watching.